Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to use this as an ultimate proof of MK Ultra. Is uh, Magdari of the proofs, proof of the proofs. Uh, it's not only there, I'm going to use this as an MK Ultra proof. Uh, it's the following information nowhere was published about Slovenian politician um, whose name is Dmitry Rupl. Uh, he, in fact, just got in some kind of argument with a president Borut Pahor. You know, there is something about a diplomat here whose name is Tone Kaiser. Uh, in a Slovenian embassy. Basically, the truth is that this man, who officially has no daughter, this guy has no daughter, he only has officially, he only has five. That's all there is. And you can go here over the Wikipedia. He doesn't have any daughter, absolutely anyone, no information whatsoever that would be published about his daughter. Uh, there's only one partner in his life that's published, that's his wife, Maria Tsarupel. Um, and you can see him here with a Condoleezza Rice in 2007 and this and that and all this and that. But the thing about it is that uh, he does have a daughter. He impregnated an American lady during his stay in the United States of America. Uh, when he became an ambassador, he's going to go down like this here. He became an ambassador in the United States in 97. And he did impregnate the lady who was interested in me. And the daughter was born. Beautiful daughter, whom I have also met. And told me, well, she told me, she said, if you, no, seriously, there's no information published anywhere about this guy's uh, daughter or anything like this, yeah? That's the guy right there, you see. You can go here, this is his name. You put down his name. Boom. Uh, chair. Uh, he talks about the Milan Kochan that he could have open to his daughter, the daughter of Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan should help his daughter. Uh, he was here once, labeled as a spy, that kind of stuff they do. They do all in agreement. They all do in agreement. This individual, this is, um, there's no, nothing about a daughter from from him, anything like this. Here you have a nice romantic blah 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 about him and his wife and stuff like this. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Well, here's the real story. Here's the truth about the whole thing. Okay. Uh, my MK Ultra case started in 95. We should, you should know about me. I served, uh, proudly I have to say, first uh, generation of Slovenian military. Uh, it commenced service right after independence, Slovenian independence. And was really, really proud about it. And uh, it was the long way for Slovenia to become independent country. And this is the guy, one of the people whom I have voted for. There are the people that are known as opposition to Milan Kuchan, to the president of the state, which we have at this point in time. 
His name is Borut Pahor. And this is the individual whose mentor really was no other than Milan Kuchan. This is all Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan was actually listed to become even a president of Yugoslavia. Now, Yugoslavia, this was just a federation. Uh, it was known as a federation. In reality, this was just a greater Serbian Chetnik state for me to properly express myself. You know, Chetniks, uh, that's uh, not really communist. Uh, they pledged their loyalty to Hitler. They pledged their loyalty to uh, King, Ale King Alexander Karadjordjevic when the war broke out on uh, Balkans. We had a Balkan war and during this Balkan war they delivered this disgraced descendant of Kara Djordjevic family. Kara Djordjevic this was just a um, This is just a family uh, regarded themselves as uh, royals in a kingdom of the SHS. That was a kingdom of Slovenians, Croats and Serbs. But these were firm Serbs and uh, had really nothing to do, not with Croatia, not with the Slovenia. Uh, the only thing they had to do with it was in the last Balkan war with a massacre in Srebrenica, massacre of Vukovar and massacre in Kosovo and so on. But I'm trying to say right now I came back from the walk and I've seen a star uh, crossed out on a great yard which was Memorial was dedicated to the Home Guards, Slovenian Home Guards. Uh, there is written to all the victims, uh, uh, dedicated to the victims of the communism and so on and so forth. And uh, that is the thing. This Serbian nationalism, if you want to regard one, is nationalism this is actually exactly what we are watching right now in uh, Ukraine a massacre of Ukrainian civilians and so on had nothing to do with any communism on the first place uh, it all got to do with our ability during this so-called Yugoslavia uh, to go to the physician, to a doctor's office, or to go to a school, or to go to any public place where you would actually interact with uh, people with different ethnic backgrounds. People from, if you like, other republics. And when I say other republics, I already explained everything. Serbs engaged simultaneously in a war against uh, Kosovo Albanians, Kosovo and Kosovo, then they commenced war against us here in Slovenia, Slovenes, and then at the same time they commenced, all this went on uh, simultaneously, also war against the Bosnian people and also the war against Croat people. So they engaged simultaneously in war against four nations for the sake of the ethnic cleansing, if you like Lebanon Rao. Uh, and so they wanted this big state in the Balkans, not really the Federation, not really symbiosis. And I'll tell you that when I did go to a physician's or I did go to any public service uh, to inquire something and I, and I had a Serb in front of me. Uh, and I know it wasn't me only because people complain about the health services. It was a heavy prejudice against us in our own hospitals 
this young people don't even know what they really want in this world and it's not their fault it's because of the parents because parents are hmm I don't actually have good opinion about this whole thing uh, a big disgrace happened here in Slovenia big disgrace and um, these statues I have seen dedicated to the home guards victims of communism it's how they refer themselves I'm just gonna say that um, if it was a communism here in Slovenia, the only thing uh, I you wouldn't even know about me, because frankly I wouldn't give a shit. Um, American society today is more communist than a society in China. I am not exaggerating. And society in China today is completely open to religion. If you want to be religious in China, spiritual, whatever, this is not a problem. The problem in China is when you try to be different, uh, when you want to keep your culture and you just don't want to assimilate, uh, you don't, in other words, want to leave behind your culture, your ethnicity, or whatever, then you become a threat. In the United States, capitalism is, but about maybe 1% of the population, for the rest, it's more or less uh, known as the rat race. Uh, and even if you go broke in that rat race, they get as much as they can from you. The uh, state will assist you. They find a way to get you uh, pay stubs. They, they find a way to get you paychecks. They get you easier job or whatever it is, um, whatever fits to your needs and so on, so that you get you get by uh, monthly and, and uh, this and that. Um, closer to the communism, you live from month to month. They hold you by the throat completely uh, with your payments. So they count every dime you have in your pocket and uh, well you know uh, people have ups downs uh, and so it goes um, in China I would say we, we are we are talking closely closer we are closer to national socialism because clearly the system is expressing uh, clearly the system is expressing intentions territorial uh, greed toward other countries they try to steal territories countries it's not about the Uyghur people or about people in Himalaya only or something like that it's they have a territorial uh, agenda uh, and is it's very it's much closer than to the communism it's closer than national socialism to put it plain and simple uh, in Yugoslavia we didn't have any kind of communism you have these people like Milan Kuch and Tanya Fayon and you have a bunch of other politicians that Bord Pahor, Danilo Turk a whole bunch of these politicians that claimed in 95 to foreign delegations that they were actually uh, members of what used to be known as Yugoslav Communist Party and it really appealed to the Chinese which at the time were more communist than anything else United Nations at the time they still had something from this uh, society in China but the society in China completely changed and uh, they raise their territorial uh, necessities above all. Uh, in Russia, we see clearly a Tsarist imperial uh, war against on Ukrainians. But uh, we'll say a war. I wouldn't say war. I would say ethnic cleansing, genocide. The, the idea is to to kill, to erase people. It's, we had this shit going on here in, in, in Yugoslavia so 
it was useful, why it was really useful for them to present themselves as a communist because they immediately gained sympathy in, 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 in the big countries. And, you know, communism is just communism. This is just a phenomenon that is going to stay around at least for a very long time. Also, I'm not a communist. I'm not a communist. Uh, I am also not for constitutional monarchy. Constitutional monarchy is actually how Alexander Karadjordjevic, who helped ethnic cleansing in Balkans, have referred himself as. He referred to himself as a constitutional monarchist. And there were constitutional monarchists who just didn't step on his nails, on his toes, and say, hey, man, the fuck up. That's just not your job. That's not your kingdom. And you don't have the right to represent us in a form as such. So I do have a problem with this monarchism because you don't assume responsibilities for your actions, for one thing. Uh, now, when it comes to myself, I am just a, a person oriented toward capitalism. I think that we're all different. Uh, I, I think personally that um, you should be worth what you invest into. Uh, and everybody's got a right to work. I respect privacy. Uh, I, I should say appreciate and um, work and uh, to treat people properly as you should be treated everybody should be treated properly that's how you should just regard other members in a society that's basically how i see myself as as part of this thing uh, but i don't think that somebody should be working 16 hours uh, literally pissing blood at his workplace and some fat cat lying in his bed, uh, vacationing somewhere in some tropical, uh, I don't know, exotic, whatever location, doing shit, other than counting money. Uh, there was a lot of that stuff went on here in Yugoslavia. These directors and these people didn't do shit. The workers did. And uh, eventually, the ideas were ran out and uh, the whole business came to an end uh, they did not appreciate money they just dealed money and uh, you can write money you know you can write banknotes but at one point in time and if you don't have the coverage for those banknotes you just go bankrupt as a state it doesn't work like this and that's what yugoslavia one of the problems also was so you know that red star, a communism, this is what that stuff was hiding behind. Uh, this war you see now in Ukraine was already here in Balkans. Uh, and I find this weak when it comes to religious institution in Slovenia, Roman Catholic Church, that they have found the word communism so appalling, so um i wouldn't even say distracting it's just weak uh it's not straight it's fear it, it's written with a fear you know uh the true the fact of the matter is that during the second world war it was solidarity that united nations that were occupied uh, by the Nazis, uh, Nazi states, whatever, and it was international, and this is just something that people here in Slovenia that resisted to Germans have also united under exactly that same umbrella with other people. In other words, I call this solidarity, and this solidarity was most often, if people did go to the forests, a red star, simple as this, so partisan, communists, not really in slovenia um, communism was like this the problem was that it was the executions that took advantage after the world war ended already 
that's already big time Serbian agenda right there. Um, these executions, however, continued throughout entire time in this Yugoslavia. Now there were some Serbs that got executed, of course, uh, allegedly for cooperating with uh, something, somebody. Uh, you cannot execute only people from other republics. You have to take two of your own too. Uh, otherwise, you come to an end before you know. And so, while they were spreading in this federation, Yugoslav Federation, I find appalling that what I told you about the physicians, about the work places where you would the workplace, you can you can function like this. You can function going at the office of the physician or you, at the workplace, and, and there's a fucking guy that not only is not in charge to only do his job these physicians have wiped out a lot of people they provided at times and that just happened a lot of times if you were not lucky and you got the physician that was somewhere from over there very bad health service like i said it often times came with uh, with uh, with their life Cost, cost of life, cost of your life, and it was like this every fucking place, whether you were meeting a police officer, whether you were meeting a, uh, you fucking name it, they did not treat us fairly, they did not treat us equally, they actually had a reason for that more and more, because it was already uh, stronger and stronger um, <clears throat> rejection of this. It got heavy, it got nasty, it got impossible in Slovenia to tolerate this type of uh, attitude toward you as a native by somebody from somewhere else in the name of some kind of brotherhood and stuff like this. They did not fucking exist anywhere other than in the books. If you got close to these people, then you became a prospect actually not only you but your relatives for the rape and you have a whole multitude of ladies here in slovenia that were single and stuck with the children which husbands made from serbia this was just epidemic in slovenia it was like impregnation it was it was a fuck up it was a mess it was a country that was not livable so it's 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 a shame that you take responsibility to create dedicate a memorial to the home guards therefore to the people that have um also pledged their life to a homeland the home guards uh, also did go in a military service sometimes compulsory uh, under Hitler or if it was part of the Italy that occupied a portion of Slovenia uh, against their will it was just a, it was just a draft and if you wouldn't go uh, you, you you, you end up in a concentration camp or something. Uh, now, yes, a Catholicism was the one that promoted that uh, home guard, um, a culture, a home guard culture. However, we have to remember that this Karadjordjevici Serbs uh, that ran this kingdom of SHS already had created enormous number of enemies throughout what used to be this kingdom. This was a kingdom of different little federations, just like Yugoslavia. And in Croatia, they plotted bombs inside of the parliament. They, it, it was a fucking mess all over the place. So I'm not surprised that it was a lot of Slovenian guys that joined to a Nazi forces, uh, it doesn't surprise me. We were always 
occupied. We never actually had our own little country from a very long time ago when we had this country. Uh, we have forgotten basically what it means, what it, what it feels like to be you on your own, to put it plain and simple. And so, and then there was that other portion of the population which also declared war on a king uh, who, yeah, frankly, this was a yebivete. On one side, he was like this, on the other side, he was like that. He was not even sure what the fuck he wants. Uh, and so, they have taken to the partisans, uh, see themselves uh, in a very difficult circumstances, facing here with the border we have with the Austria, basically practically with Germany and on the other side with the, with the Italy and then Hungary, which also was in this uh, circle, Nazi circle. Uh, we had a very difficult choice other than to cooperate with the partisans from uh, other states, what became later known as the Federation, Yugoslav Federation. We, we needed this solidarity because otherwise on Balkans, it, basically we were completely on our own here. This is just the way the, the war have uh, developed here. This is, this is just the way it was. So it was, it was a mentality like this, uh, which eventually costed us tremendously upon the end of the war. The Serbs again stepped to the table and what Slovenes, Slovenian partisans uh, with Croatians have liberated and talk about the Trieste, Gorica, you know, Italian side cities and in Austria also uh, cities. The only thing that happened was Serbs again have gone and they have just uh, traded uh, our Slovenian land for the land they needed in Romania, uh, 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 border with Bulgaria. Uh, Hungary and just like this with the uh, allies of the world. So what they did was deliberate act uh, and it's actually known as uh, incapacitation of a small nation. They basically cut our biggest port from Adriatic Sea, which was Trieste, right? So when you do this and you, you, you completely destroy access to international waters to a small nation, uh, which anyhow was to decide to be with the Tito, uh, you actually cripple one for life, to put it plain and simple. Uh, either way, uh, this business with Yugoslavia was exactly, again, what you see today is taking place in Ukraine. There is not much to, to, to dream about that stuff. So I, I would just suggest Slovenian uh, church, church in Slovenia, Roman Catholic Church, to, uh, I, 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 I uh, salute this uh, decision to, to give uh, home guards also uh, a respect and memorial. However, the victim of the communism, I, I would just have that instead replaced with uh, Yugoslavia, okay? Yugoslavia, everybody should understand was a greater Serbian Shetnik state. That's exactly what was hiding from day one of Yugoslavia behind the Red Star. You understand? It was not about a communism. Um, and since the communism, just like capitalism, is not going to go, are not going to go away anytime soon. And I'm sure you understand what the word multiculturalism means. Yeah, that's what they practice at large in Germany, and it's very lucrative when it comes to the continents, uh, abroad, trade relations, you know, relations in general. Um, we shouldn't pursue, leave in some kind of hatred and pursue some kind of ideology that actually is rejected and in Italy and in Germany and everywhere and in Japan at large. 
you don't want to do this. What you want to do is you want to create society that is equal society that's based rather on uh, national uh, sovereignty. And that national sovereignty means uh, exactly what I stated, yeah? Uh, so if you would add a cross next to the red star on a memorials dedicated to the partisans uh, and what I stated is replace that word of communism with uh, just Yugoslavia I if you like I don't mind you can write down next to it greater Serbian Chetnik state because this is what it is uh, that's just fine with me and also you're gonna feel more self-confident you understand you don't have to you don't have to hide yourself uh, you haven't done anything wrong you can see what's going on today in Ukraine by the way it was not only here if that was not bad enough uh, in Croatia and Bosnia on Kosovo and so on it's happening again in Ukraine it's okay to write down Yugoslavia it's okay to say Yugoslavia greater Serbian Chetnik state that's okay that's okay if that would be the case, we wouldn't have any victims after the World War II. Think about it. Okay, very important for me to clarify because this man, during this independence from Yugoslavia, play, played like a major role. He was very, very important uh, for the Slovenian people because he initiated independence process in Slovenia. He was one of the few founders as they call themselves. In reality, this opposition from Milan Kuchan, uh, people that were even indicted in, by the World Tribunal Criminal Court in Hague as a war criminals, such as Milosevic, Karadzic, uh, talking about people that ran this country here, Yugoslavia. were completely indifferent or actually probably worse because you didn't know whom you were dealing with and it's very important for me to clarify all this stuff oftentimes foreign diplomats presidents when they came to this house and to slovenia they were confused they were asking me bobby 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 what, what do we do whom to whom do we use to help you out and i told them this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, but this guys, this is one of the guys that I demonstrated you. Uh, this guy was, these guys were absolutely everything, but what they advertised, they were. Yeah, they were co something completely different. These guys, uh, these guys actually ran what is known as a Udba business. You know, Udba, that's officially undercover Yugoslav police and tra, tra 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 that kind of stuff you know but the thing about it is this actually is much worse this is no police this is this is just um, you know there's this other system that nobody actually admits nobody actually knows about and it's not a communism and it's not a Nazism and it's not it's not even KGB yeah that's what we have in Slovenia. That's where the problem is. Uh, it's a it's a it's a system that murders, cleans, genocides own people for the sake of the Lebanon of the third party of another country. That's what Milan Kuc and that's what Borut Pavor, Tanya Fayon, Danilo Turk. Uh, that's what these people, Dernoshek, Janus Dernoshek, president of Slovenia, uh, also was. That's what these people have presented us as an option. So you have the, the system in which natives each, uh, basically eat each one another with ideology, that's actually ideology, so they could create a Lebanon realm 
for somebody else. That's basically for return of this greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. That's what's fucking scary. That's why you want to substitute the word communism with Yugoslavia. That's why. It's just something far worse than communism, and that's exactly what I stated. This type of social setting, this type of social arrangement is far worse than communism. Uh, it can be Nazism, it can be communism. Fuck that. This is the worst form of governing of the social arrangement. Uh, a nation which within is running ethnic cleansing, genocide, for the sake of the third party, for the sake of some other country, so it can be annexed to somebody completely non-related to that nation. That's where the real problem is. This is where the trouble is. This guy was the mech daddy of chameleons. Nobody ever figured out who this guy was. Dmitry Rupel, this individual here that you see, if you go to his resume of Dmitry Rupel, and you're gonna see it, it, it's quite impressive, man. It, it looks like, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like this. Okay, we're gonna go here to Wikipedia like this. Okay, this is a real chameleon. This, this is a real lizard. This is something else, you know. Uh, born in Ljubljana, uh, the grandfather was the last Slovenian mayor in Duina, Austria, Hungary, uh, whatever. Uh, he did go to a school to Munich. Okay, let me see this here. <laughs> Dmitry Rupel, we're gonna do it like this. Let's see this stuff here. Nineteen seventy uh, diploma, Ljubljana, seventy six uh, University, Brandes, uh, Massachusetts, University, Brandes, Brandeis, Massachusetts, Faculty of Sociology, Ljubljana. Tribune. Uh, I was pretty damn sure that he was actually even in the school in Munich, this guy. So, sure, because he tortured me literally in Germany, and it's something that um, Angela Merkel told me, begged me, let's just please forget this part let's just please forget in germany he cried to the germans that i discriminate against his name dmitri uh yes i did under and i had a lot of reasons for that this guy in 1995 began to physically torture me there were two politicians that supposedly were opposition to milan kuchan that started to physically torture me and it was strange because this is supposed to be opposition to Milan Kucha. This guy for instance was taking me to 
like on a fishing sessions uh, to a border with a Croatia there were some uh, bordellos uh, on the other side of Slovenia in on a Croatian side and maybe even on Slovenian side and uh, this guy would just uh, yeah that was not expected you were able to see what that is I think it's quite remotely controlled this computer uh, This guy was going, he used as an alibi fishing, and it was something that my father would do with the Chertalic, with the Jozef Chertalic, they would do. You know, this guy, talk about this guy, this was a police officer in Yugoslavia, yeah? And hijacked from United States of America from Miami between 95 and August of 2006, that's 11 and a half consecutive years, I was nowhere in the world other than the United States of America. I would not exit one. I was afraid to death to return back to Slovenia because of the shit that went on. Even prior to my departure to the United States of America in 1995. Uh, this guy was just take me to southern part of Slovenia uh, and it would be for fishing because I like fishing uh, but this fishing oftentimes came with a special costs and the costs for this fishing were while he was fishing okay if he was fishing that's one thing uh, but as I stated earlier he was using fishing for something else they had these bordelos yeah, so the wife would not uh, be suspicious about it. He took a fishing pole with him and maybe even get some fish, but he was really doing other stuff right down here. This is a Kolpa River, what you see here, right? That's a border. All this border that you see is a Kolpa River. On the other side here, it's Croatia. And uh, he would hook with his friends to some other locations too. Uh, these are not Croat bordelos. These houses did not belong to the Croats. They were actually like a crime underground ran by the Serbs. Maybe something Boucher did not even know about. Just as my father had found himself here, let's say, on a ver various locations doing about exactly the same shit doing crazy stuff that he shouldn't even think about it stuff that he actually learned from this uh, business owner Chertalic Jozef uh, who was using him with exactly the same concept uh, would go for fishing or would even have my father fish catch fish and then when he would return from Bordello uh, father would hand him fish and he would go home to his wife and clean uh, the fish over there happy you understand you you get the concept yeah you do you do okay so with this individual with this chat individual uh, Dmitry Rupel was uh, rather than concentrated in Slovenian future because Slovenia just liberated itself of what I told you earlier Four years earlier, this guy became interested in work in the United States of America too. He wanted to penetrate to the U.S. boy, and he did as an ambassador, uh, as an ambassador, it says right there, in year 1997. By the way, his daughter, his wife told me, uh, in the U.S., not listed as a wife, not listed as a daughter, but they told me, uh, Please don't tell this and this and that, uh, be nice and tra tra tra. Yeah, well, I am nice. Yeah, I'm gonna explain to you how nice I am. If you're gonna see your father, if you're gonna come here, I'm sure you wanna come here like a human being. And it, this was actually the job of your father, which actually I'm the one who is doing it. Uh, your father caused a tremendous fuck up here in my life. And the second thing is, he ruined this country. He even ruined 
confidence in a foreign diplomats to the degree that he completely paranoid at people. He scared the people off away and from me and terrorized people to the degree that people were just uh, didn't know who is watching them, where, how, and this and that, because they didn't know what the fuck to think about this whole thing. So, yeah, I want you to come to Slovenia, see it, if you like, live here with your mom, whichever way it is, like a human being, be respected, or uh, quite contrary to your father. So if you're going to see one, if you're going to have opportunity for all this, it's going to be thanks to me, not to your father. And this is what I stand for. I open for, uh, I'm open for a friendship, for relations. That's exactly what I stated. Ukraine has to be concentrated in, directed toward to. Uh, it's more than just economy. Uh, it's about relations. It's about people. It's about the free, um, how can I say, not free market, but free free trade, free, um, free movement of the people, movement of the people based on, uh, you know, their decisions they make in life, basically. It's a job, it's our job to make them life easy, uh, accessible uh, to, to, to their needs uh, as, a, as, a, as a common European Union function, if you like. I'm going to call it a function. Because this isn't about only about about money, about the market, uh, uh, trade, and stuff like this. Uh, this is about also other stuff. This is about us helping one another build common goals such as security, safety, uh, care for one another, basically, and so on and so forth. It's got much more to do with it. This is why European Union, uh, and so. This individual here managed to fool absolutely everybody. Um, he is extremely, extremely convincing. In 95, he started to beat me up for, to me, fucking unknown reason. Like I said, four years earlier, I voted for him. Uh, why this would turn against me like this, I have no idea. 96, the same shit. 97, I understood. I found myself on American, Slovenian, Embassy in the United States of America. No, so I want to see something else here because it's really relevant to this video. Uh, Ambassador Velikoslanik. Uh, the top. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna shift from here from this stuff here. I want to get out here with this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's go like this because it's not related to him only, and I'm gonna issue a quite important statement. Slovenska predstavnica Velika Slovenska Republika Slovenije. One of the worst people involved in this stuff. I mean, what the fuck went on inside of this American embassy it is impossible for me to explain. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, listen, try to imagine my disappointment before I continue with this. A Slovenian who fought for independence of Slovenia, discriminated against his existence since he is, I'm gonna say, almost birth here in Slovenia, from kindergarten, in kindergarten and up. Uh, get the status, get the status of independence in this country country gets independent status beaten up hijacked from United States of America bought 
to Slovenia and beaten up by the people whom you voted for, fought for, so they could run this movement in already what became independent country. It's actually impossible to, to imagine. Find yourself in a country you immigrated to, to avoid absolutely any kind of uh, remaining rem remnants of the previous failed Yugoslav system and you find yourself again next to the guy that you actually voted for, fought for, in the United States of America, it's far away from Europe actually. That's crazy. Inside of the embassy and he's doing again the same boom 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 to you over there. That's exactly what happened. I was driven under Bill Clinton's administration, and it's a good thing, to this embassy. And it was nothing other than beatings, beatings by this guy. And this guy opened the door to the Udba people, to the people like Borut Paha, that came for a visit. Boy, in... Uh, individual who replaced him I have to yet to see who but this guy already was involved in beatings already since the guy I'm gonna demonstrate you hopefully this was a violent like a super ultra violent Milan Kuchan thug literally already started to engage in violence because in 97 one of the most violent people was the ambassador who replaced afterwards Dmitry Trupel, Rupel who did nothing but open him door and just let it happen over there, whatever the fuck they want to do with me. Russians started to walk. Vladimir Putin, Russians started to cut, to appear in this fucking embassy in 99, laughing at me. You, you got them here in Slovenia, that somehow they got here. Now you already you see them right there inside of the Slovenian embassy in the United States of America. This was a fucking hell of the embassy, which George Bush somehow stopped. Uh, Bill Clinton, I approve highly his administration because he stopped the war on Balkans uh, in a way that other uh, politicians wouldn't uh, even consider, maybe. Uh, and another thing that I like about Bill Clinton is uh, also it was George Bush that replaced him. Uh, Americans did run background operation on these meetings per Slovenian government, which acted on behalf of the Russian and on behalf of Serbs. All those deliveries to this embassy for torture, for beatings, for abuse, uh, the Americans have from what I was at least taught, uh, they engaged in a sting operation. They actually did, uh, recorded this stuff. They surveillance that stuff. They had control over that fucking Slovenian embassy. This is just uh, a bunker where you're gonna have people that otherwise would not even cross to the US. It's like this kind of holes. They sleep inside, they stay inside, safe. And then they do their little whereabouts, excursions and uh, sightseeing with whatever they use to hide themselves from public and so on and so forth. In one word, this guy was just a totally Udba people. This was a totally fucked up individual, like a hardcore Udba. Uh, now it did happen so that he did met this girl who was extremely interested in me and impregnated her. Um, hmm. Both are very beautiful and mother and daughter, really, really beautiful. Uh, mother actually uh, of his daughter in the US very much was interested in me they tried to do with her the same thing like they did with other females and that one just went uh, ballistic I liked her and Andram Kiotra and she did not give in 
she went completely ballistic and then eventually a uh, american government got her into this kind of deal somehow to help me out literally uh, and so she definitely wanted to be seen as someone like this and you know i don't mind her to be seen like this as long as she comes out and confirms what i state yeah uh, but otherwise uh, when that happened mr dmitry rupel became he claimed to everybody a great reset happened to him uh, became uh, more friendly to me uh, changed his views that's what he claimed me uh, but I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna pass on that I don't think he ever changed he didn't change not even a little bit he's a Udba guy this is a hardcore Udba guy that will never ever changed uh, he always worked along board power uh, was coming in this house since 95 to meet foreign diplomats uh, pull them for the nose um, continued to engage in severe torture on me against me despite what I stated and even his claims how he changed and this and that because this relationship toward me bullshit uh, long nights cerebral sleep deprivation under MKH all fortified for the extra torture with a severe sleep deprivation week time two week time without sleep he told me at times you're gonna go to sleep right now when we release you from mk ultra you're gonna have a heart failure boy that's how it went nights uh, at times people my room down the hallway they would already get me out of the fucking room here in the kitchen or wherever and it would be some other people that would interact separately from me he would be at nights like stupid shit asking idiotic questions at his home uh intimidated me harassed me with issues what about my views around his wife uh yes this is a niece anya rupel whom I actually, by the way, liked very much, but sorry, my views were so racistic. Never mind that I was hijacked to Serbia, to Bosnia, to occupy parts of Croatia by the Serbs for torture, that I was tortured in front of the partisan memorials in, since 95, before I embarked in United States of America. Never mind that he was involved greatly in this shit. As opposition to Milan Kuchan, he just the more the beatings went on, the less this guy could understand me. This is a twisted, twisted, twisted mind. And really wanted to understand what exactly bothered me on his wife, other than uh basically not other than I, I'm trying to be really sarcastic here. You know, it's just his wife. Why the fuck wouldn't you like, right? His facial, her facial characteristics and so on and so forth. I don't understand even what the fuck this guy wanted from me. Uh, he was collecting honorar, we say in Slovenian, for writing the articles, for writing, for giving some kind of advice that is like fart in the wind or something like this. He was making a fucking paranoia to the foreign diplomats, uh, acted like a subservient of Borut Pahor. He was magnifying Borut Pahor. He was making Borut Pahor, Milan Kuchin, in other words, much more important than what he was. These people are fucking nobody, nothing. Didn't fucking exist upon the end of Yugoslavia. And it was the people like this that brought them back on a picture. Act with the fear, with this, with that. This is a perfect, perfect setup. This is the guy that you can afford elsewhere than, let's say, in timeshare or something like this sales. That's like characteristic when you don't actually even make sale and it's already you have people sitting around other guests, salespeople. 
and they're making the noise bravo 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 somebody claiming not even a sale but a fake sale which you can never prove that it was a fake sale uh, that's the kind of personality we're talking about fucking twisted crazy uh, I don't understand what the fuck this guy ever wanted from me. He saw that uh, I'm bothered with him, his, his name and this. He was just looking for anything, any kind of, you know, to fuck you further. You know, you don't like the name, then you want to break down and understand this and that and that. You don't like the nose from wife, whatever. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Now that's interesting. Now let's go and we're going to talk three days, one week, one month about that issue. Or maybe here or this or that. He was torturing and he was receiving compensation for that. Opportunities at Bled Lake, uh, which is the picture I'm going to attach next to it. One claimed me he also represented uh, domestic companies to a foreign uh, partners, investors, whatever, that kind of stuff. But... Uh, what I have heard from foreign diplomats, uh, they actually wanted me to tell what I stated to you right now, because they were they they didn't see in him uh, what is written on his resume. Yeah, uh, he would travel also to the United States of America separately from Slovenian government having me along and portray himself next to me like somebody that now boy we are free we are here now we can talk this and that um, in a sense met with important American people who guaranteed me swear on me swear to me that this is the guy this is the only guy you have to work with this guy if you can work with this guy then it's nothing Either they were completely fucked up with drugs, with alcohol, or whatever it is. I have no idea what they were doing. The instructions, information I received from the foreign diplomats oftentimes was a catastrophe, a fuck up. In Munich, in Germany, when I was brought with this guy, uh, he claimed that he was in the school in Munich, that he had something to do also with the Munich. There was something, some, I don't know what it was. And... Uh, It just made a terrible, terrible impression on me because uh, he wanted to represent me to present me to the Germans like uh, somebody that is just uh, disturbed. His name, everything that was just a. Uh, 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 you know, like like I'm a fucking babaloo or something, and I was jerked up. This was MK Ultra. That's how he was doing. So did he impact my self confidence and everything else in in a variety of ways? This is a fucking uh, leech. This guy. He can go freely with his news, with his uh, uh, whatever goodwill. Ah, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's, that's, yeah. I just need to demonstrate you whoever replaced him, and if I'm not going to be able to do this, I'm just going to put you down. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down who was the individual who replaced him that was the fucking worst of the worst that, that was the most violent guy What a 
mistake, but I don't get the information about Sanatim Basadari versus the A. Uh, Slovenian Embassy USA. Uh, and so. Embassy of the Republic of Slovenia in Washington, D.C. Mm, okay, maybe I get something here, but this is going to be there is going to be too many photos, and this is really 97 and 2000. This, this is just a disaster. This stuff here. Uh, Slovenian embassy. Okay, whoever the guy was that. Uh, Aha, okay. How about this here? Oh, that's gonna work. Oh boy, they are hiding this information. Uh, list Slovenian ambassadors in the USA. Uh, this is not easy. Now let, let's see here. Oh, oh, that's much better now. Okay, there you go. Now we have the information. Dmitri Rupel, there you go, da -da 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 -da. and that was it, Davori in Karachun, 2000, we're gonna see this here, and then is a Samuel Zbogar. Samuel Zbogar was a violent thug, this was a violent guy, not as violent as this guy here, Davori in Karachun. This was a disaster. This is probably the guy they have got him. Uh, the Jolans of Slovenia suffer a year. Economist, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me check that in there. Republic of Slovenia, Pogonite, the winner, the Pogonite, the winner, the winner, the winner, the winner, but uh, mm, the best is just to do this here and I don't think there's anything else here to say And so yeah, we're gonna have some photo maybe of the two together. Okay, okay, that's the kind of stuff you can just go and you can research yourself. That this this was This was the guy that didn't last for too long, I think, because because he was so violent, basically, because this was just a, it was a short shot, maybe that's why, whatever the case might be. Yeah, yes, uh, it, it must have been a short shot. For him, because it was violent. This guy was much better, but this guy, how can I say, just uh, very disrespectful and also maybe even left without uh, alternative other than to cooperate on these issues.
uh, I I'm sorry but I was betting because I knew these people these people didn't do shit for me these people the only thing I can say is that I don't know maybe this guy was the worst I have a very very opinion about very bad opinion about uh, people that came to the United States of America and uh, really is that these people are all Udba people they were all appointed by the Milan Kuch and by the Board of Power now, I, and I already told you in Slovenia whoever had a high school whoever was a boss at your workplace uh, or was even a teacher or definitely had a higher education uh, whether that be a professor or a physician or uh, they all belong to the Udba you couldn't have but not uh, cooperate on the issue that I stated to you this is, was just the issue in Yugoslavia the psychiatrists in Yugoslavia had a, a special assignment to always monitor uh, certain people uh, read if they were in a journalism or something like that uh, journalism was all 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 everything was surveillance literally by the psychiatrist every journalist had appointed his own psychiatrist psychiatrist was a, <coughs> a person that would have a political background and was just trusted enough to you know surveillance you uh, 24 7 and on anything that slightly would differ from manifesto uh, written by his bosses in Belgrade would have you eventually disappear you could actually say that was a like a police officer yeah it was every psychiatrist was this with a sort of a police officer that would surveillance next to his work at whatever psychiatric institution he would come home and read your articles study them and trust me there were cases that people did write for 10 15 years or whatever accordingly with the system and uh, it would it would be maybe one occasion or two that that uh, something would appear written somewhere in some article that would not be or maybe god forbid televised or something like that in 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 uh, uh in coordinates uh, with paragraphs rules from belgrade they would have you fucking disappear like you don't know many fathers many sons many husbands disappeared across the night some always returned five ten years 15 years god knows back from whatever location uh, whatever institution some they ended up on a golly autok uh, and some many also were killed and numerous ran our people Croat people to the Germany for work and in the United States of America so you know I don't have much to say to you I don't have anything else to say to you other than this this guy has uh, impregnated a female who was interested in becoming my own wife this happened during Bill Clinton's administration still uh, this is a really beautiful lady and uh, somehow ended up like that American politicians somehow did it like this she actually was not too much for it but it happened so and he does have a daughter you don't have anything else to say this this stuff is not written absolutely anywhere i was the first one i have disclosed one so what i'm going to do is this is all in english language i'm going to also take down date and time peace brothers and sisters for every ambassador slovenian ambassador whoever went to slovenia uh, to united states of america to have served uh, on the embassy over there every time it was now we got this one uh, this one is going to help you this one is going to do this this one is going to do that 
uh, we chose this one based on this on your preferences the preferences the preferences were for me to be completely straight with you a person comes you don't even know oftentimes who the fuck the person is uh, starts to interact with you is fun is nice uh, all of a sudden it turns around he starts to beat you up sleep deprive you torture you with the issues uh, other torture takes place some of which are impossible to explain from house to house from house to house from from one place to other location da -da 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 -da. Uh, he tortures you in between and again he is nice with you and so the wall is broken between you know the clarity about who is what is this and that how you should view one how what you should have your opinion uh, this is how they put this ambassadors so if they wanted to trigger in you why they were doing this kind of stuff if they wanted to trigger in you anger or rejection of the certain individual in front of the foreign entity some other individual diplomat they did like this it didn't take much time uh, to get you in a mode against this individual and if they wanted to make a good impression in front of another individual about that individual they wanted to push to a certain location they did that too this is how slovenian udba did with me it was all violence nothing other than violence and that's all thank you very much for watching this video till next time talking a lot about mk ultra here the so-called mk ultra hmm.